I'ma go hard, I'ma go hard, I'ma, I'ma Hi. So, uh, bad news, when I was recording this, uh, video, I sadly, uh, couldn't use tier list. I tried, uh, dragging the photos in, uh, the temple list, I think it's called, I don't know, and it wouldn't work. And here's proof, also, if you don't believe me, and, um, now I had to go on a site called Canva and make my own temple list, and, uh, yeah, I was very pissed off because I wanted to make, uh, tier list and do my thoughts on these. But oh well, we're gonna have to go with something else, sadly. I'm very upset, and I'm very sorry, guys. And it really pissed me off, because I wanted to do this for you guys. And also, uh, here's what's going down. One, if you guys do see this. One, uh, there's gonna be 15 stuff. 15 company logos I'm writing. 15 horror movies I'm writing. 15 TV animated shows I'm writing. And that's completely it. I'm very sorry. And, uh, yeah. So that's gonna be it. Uh, sadly, if you guys don't know if your animated TV show was in, uh, the video, I'm very sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Also, um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm very sorry. <laughs> also, thank you all so much for 500 subscribers. It means a lot. Well, all, well, I guess that's it, actually. Enjoy the video. Bye. Alright, let's go. Alright, so we got... A Nightmare on Elm Street 2010 remake. Uh, this one was awful, honestly. I really fucking hated this movie. I bet a lot of people hated this movie. One, why make Freddy Krueger a pedophile? That doesn't seem right at all, man. That doesn't seem right at all. Who? The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The original. Oh, my fuck. I love this one. I, I really did. Freaking good at the top of my list. Alright, the remake. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. Out of all of it, I would give it an okay one. I Some people liked it, some people hated it, but Taylor's Troop, I was uh, like, alright, this is okay. Halloween, nine, 1978, I believe this, year came, this movie came out. This one, honestly, I loved it, honestly. I love this. The Exorcist, oh my god. I'm very excited, like, if you guys don't know, they're making another Exorcist movie, and oh my god, and now think of today, like, this movie was so gruesome and so horrifying, like, literally, now think of the effects now we have today that can make this movie hor more horrifying, yeah, literally, so I'm going to give this one a good, I really love this movie. Leprechaun. I really wasn't a fan of this. I bet a lot of people hated the Leprechaun. Ha a Nightmare on Elm Street, the original. I honestly loved A Nightmare on Elm Street. Not bad movie. Could have been better though. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Listen, listen. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. My friend Dahmer. Honestly, I love. Honestly, honestly, I can't speak today. Honestly, I love this freaking movie. It's based on a real person who was fucked up in the head. You should really see this movie. It's really fucking good. The Conjuring. Wow. Uh, this one's okay. I did actually want. To, I want to take a picture of the fucking doll, uh, Annabelle. Oh, Jaws. Oh, my God. This is actually... Can we just point out, if you guys did not know a fun fact about Jaws, it's a PG, PG film. I'm not joking. Because if you didn't know, PG was different back in the day. Which, today, it's... Uh, Friday the 13th remake. Okay, so I remember Asante, if you guys know him. Asante requested me to do a po Me and Arnold to do a podcast. Sadly... Arnold doesn't know anything about Friday the 13th. He hasn't watched the movies. He probably knows what it is, but he hasn't watched the movies. Still, though, I would give the remake an okay one. It's an okay one, in my opinion. Child's Play. Good. I really love Child's Play when I really... I really did. I love Child's Play. Slenderman. I absolutely hated this freaking film. So much like, like audience and critics hated this fucking film. Can we just point that out? Okay, I fucking forgot one more. Extremely wicked and shockingly vile, and I don't know how to fucking say that. 
extremely wicked, shockingly evil, and vile. I don't know how to say that title. This is based on a real person named Ted Bundy. I absolutely fucking love this movie. Had, had uh, what's his name? Zach Efron. Freaking weirdo. But I would give this an okay one. There was some fucking parts they did forget that was wrong about the story. Still, though, yeah, that's my horror ranking on this. Take a screenshot if you would like. Let's go on to the next one. Alright, next one is animated TV series. Let's go. Transformers Prime. Oh my god, I love this when I was, like, little. I love this when I was, like, seven years old. This was serious. I revisited it in, like, 2019 to just watch my glory days. It was good. Sonic X, English dub. Honestly, this one was an okay one. I do... It was. I loved it actually. Really, I don't really watch that anime. That was. There's two animes to watch: Sonic X and what was it called? Dangarampa. Yeah, a new Spider-Man anime. Ah, I can't speak. Spider-Man, the new animated series. Yeah, this one's an okay one. This one's sadly it was one of those other movies that sadly uh, didn't get featured. Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. I love this, honestly. And I hear they're going to make new stuff out of Scooby-Doo. Rick and Morty. This one's an okay one. It started getting good. You know what? Actually good. I don't want to, honestly. Like, they're picking up the moment. Like, today's TV series, like, animated ones, like Simpsons, Family Guy... They're not just building up. They're just making these new seasons for money, really, and go fuck themselves for that one. South Park. <laughs> this is a freaking serious... Like, if you've seen the South Park COVID thing, post-COVID, that one... Oh. My. God. Freaking worth to watch. The BoJack Horseman series on Netflix... This one is a very intense series and very funny at the same time. I would give it good. It's really good. I would suggest watching it. No, really. Chowder. I would give it an okay one. I did, like I like a series that's intense and serious. This one was not serious, but it was an okay one. This one is not serious, but it had dark stuff in it, and I loved it. Invader Zim. God, I loved it in Vigil Sim. I love this return of it. Ignore my phone. Someone was just texting me for some goddamn reason. The Simpsons, uh... Listen. As much, like, today's Simpsons is an okay. I was gonna give it a bad one, but it's an okay one. Family Guy, fucking awful. There's a lot of racial stuff in this series. Can we point that out? There's a lot of racial stuff. Racist stuff. Or racial. Did I say racial? What? I cannot speak today, guys. I cannot speak. Futurama. If you guys don't know, this is a series made by the same creator of The Simpsons. I actually love this. And I'm very excited that actually, when it returns to. Uh, it's going on Hulu, and I'm very actually ha happy. Alright, what's the next one? Spectacular Spider Man. We all already know. The thing is, though, freaking people on freaking online keep freaking bragging about, oh, I miss Spectacular Spider-Man. Like, I, I'm saying too, but it's been like some of the 10 fucking years. People brag and complain about this. And what is the annoying part of freaking about this? Someone on Twitter literally was upset about it, and someone, like, gave them a smiley face. One of the creators, I forgot what his name was. It's been a long time. Don't judge me. And everyone thought Spectacular Spider-Man was returning. And then he confirmed it wasn't true. That it wasn't. And I'm like, what? Not with the what? Sp Spider-Man's not returning. Spectacular Spider-Man's not returning. I was like, you guys, even though he put a smiley face, you guys actually thought he was going to return? It was going to return? How fucking stupid can you guys be? How fucking stupid? No, really, like, what is your IQ level? Like, literally, what the fuck is that? Spongebob, um, I gave it an okay one. Today, Spongebob is an okay one, and it's too much, though. Gravity Falls, we all knew what this was gonna add. I really love Gravity Falls. Tell you the truth, also, Spongebob was my childhood series. I'll always put it on my number one, but if today, I have to give it an okay one. 
Still though, Gravity Falls, I love Gravity Falls. Who doesn't? I really love this series. So yeah, next one, let's... These were my rankings also, by the way, for the anime TV series. Let's get on to the next one. Alright, the final one. Rate company logos. Wendy's. Uh, this is an okay one. Today's freaking restaurant logos, they're eh, mostly, mostly some of the time. Like, not restaurants, also like, I don't know, freaking fast food. YouTube. Peep, some people hated the 2017 recent YouTube logo, but this one, it's okay, I will say though. I'll put it in the good section. Listen, it's not the best, okay? But listen, at least it, it's okay to me, honestly. I don't care what people think. Starbucks. If you have not seen one of my short videos where I reacted to someone telling me the originals of a Starbucks logo, then yeah, you know. This one is a little weird and terrifying, but if I had to rank it, I'm putting it in the bad. You thought I was going to put it in there, okay? Hell no. This is awful to me. Pepsi. I fucking hate this one. Excuse my language. I'm going to swear. <laughs> Pixar. Okay, so... They never changed this logo. I want to point that out. They never changed it. But, uh... You can see a lot of creativity, but it's going to be in the okay section. I'm just saying. It could have been good. They can make a good logo. Coca-Cola. Awful. You know what? I will say this, though. I'll put it in the okay section. At least it's better than freaking Pepsi. You know what? No, no. Freaking put it in the bad section. At least, like, companies today, like, they're simplifying stuff. Mound Dew. You know what? Here's some of the sad part about Mound Dew. Literally, when I looked up the original Mound Dew logo, it had the ma it had mountain, mountain in it. The word mountain. But they got rid of it and just put MTN, which that's sad. And I'm going to have to give this a bad. This is just sad for companies right now that they're making awful fucking ones. Google. I absolutely. This might be the worst one I have to pick. Like, if you have. Like, if I had to pick the worst logo in the world, it's fucking like Google. They have the worst boring logo. Like, oh my god, their logo is so freaking boring. Like, what is this? It's simplified. Simplified. I can't speak, okay? Still, though, what is this? This is so horrible. Duncan, absolutely no. I freaking am upset. Freaking upset. I can't speak today for some reason. I cannot speak. Chat. Chat. Yeah, I cannot speak. Why? Why Dunkin'? Why na rename your company to Dunkin' Donuts? Not cool. Burger King. I respect they went back. If you guys don't know, they went back to the original logo, and I respect that. The, the one we have today is uh, Universal. Their old logo was the planet, l literally, with just the colors. But now it's just white and black, and it's boring. It's F, actually. But tell you what, this is an okay one. I will say this. At least uh, it has creativity. I'm just saying. Warner Brothers. This is the recent one. So I'm at. I actually said, you know what? This is an okay one. It's better than that one and black one. Actually, I have nothing wrong with that one. It's just that it can be. It's just that it was eh, really, to me. It was an okay one, but this is much better, really. I will say. It's much better. Disney. Uh, you know, this is an okay one. I will say that. It's not bad. But then again, it's simplified. You know what? I'm going to put it in the freaking section. I'm just in the middle with it, but okay. McDonald's. Bad. I absolutely don't like it. They actually had good logos, and they just changed it and turned it into an M. Why? Why was the M necessary? Was the M necessary? No. Tesla. Don't know what Tesla is. It's a freaking car company. Don't know something about Zone K. He honestly lo likes Elon Musk. Not in a weird way, if you're wondering that. I, lo I love this, actually. Look at the freaking T. I will admit, though, the freaking E. What is up with that? It looks like a freaking stack of plates. Like, look at this. This looks like plates, actually. The E. What is this? This looks like 
A freaking plate is on a table with the A. I'm sorry, though. I had to say that. But still, though, I love the freaking Tesla logo. So, yeah, that's my ranking. Uh, it looks like bad, honestly, because today's company's logos, some are good and some are okay, but mostly all of them are bad, really, because companies don't know how to make a good logo. I'll tell you that. So, yeah. Thank you all so much. for. I really love ranking all these, like, stuff with you all. Like, this was amazing actually thank you all so much for 500 subscribers it means a lot to me to know that um i'm blowing up still and i know that some people will just put the click the notification button to probably off which i don't really care you guys still support me which i support that and if you don't want to watch my content i can understand why you want to watch other people but i can understand why. still though I, it means a lot to me you at least subscribed so, though, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much once again for 500 subscribers. Hope you all have a nice day. See you all next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.